How's it going, Jack Tackers, and welcome back to another video for you guys. Today, I'm going to be doing something uh, that I've been wanting to do for a little bit, ever since the Defenders ended, uh, and what it's set up for Daredevil Season 3. Now, I'm sure there's been a lot of videos already about predictions and what people think could happen in Daredevil Season 3, but I've yet to do it, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to do it. So, a lot of people have already said they're doing the Born Again storyline, um, because of what happened at the end of The Defenders. Spoiler alert if you've not seen The End of The Defenders. Uh, go watch that, then watch this prediction video. Um, basically, Matt uh, is in the nun... Uh, it's not a church, it's like a nursing home almost. Um, and one of the nuns say, go, says, go get Maggie tell her he's waking up and if you don't know from the daredevil comics maggie is uh matt's mom so uh matthew murdoch's mom so that should be interesting um if they want to go that route and basically while daredevil's recovering after everything um there's i believe an alias daredevil that uh goes out and about, but it's not Matt, someone else, and my theory is that they could integrate Iron Fist into this somehow, because if you don't know, Iron Fist um, was actually Daredevil for some time in the comics, uh, Danny Rand, uh, he like took the role of Matt, um, and if they had the alias Daredevil, basically the fake Daredevil, and then Danny Rand's version of Daredevil, that would be an interesting story. Also, Kingpin is a major villain uh, in the Born Again story arc, so I'm, I'm assuming Kingpin is going to be like the new Thanos of uh, the Marvel Netflix. He's going to be like the new big bad. Maybe for the Defender Season 2, that'll be the end of the Kingpin story arc, because we saw him in Daredevil Season 1 and a bit in uh, Season 2. And then they bring him back in season three. And then maybe that's all we see of him until all the other shows get their second season. And then he's in, or maybe he can show up in The Punisher even if they wanted to do that. Um, and then uh, we see him in The Defenders as the main villain. Because at that point, you would have almost like four seasons worth of build up towards the character. Because season one, he was the main villain. Season two, he was there for a decent chunk of, chunk of time. Dared up season three. He'd be a main villain, and then a Punisher. Maybe he'd show up for a quick cameo. So uh, that's enough. Um, so yeah, and uh, also Karen, uh, Karen Page goes down in dark path, and basically, uh, Wilson Fisk, uh, Kingpin finds out that Matt Murdock is Daredevil because she tells him for the drugs, and Karen's doing drugs now, and a lot of people are like, that's not the similar. That's not similar at all to what Karen is doing right now on the show. Well, listen, guys. She thinks Matt's dead. She could be so sad to the point where she starts to do drugs to numb the pain. And then, basically, she starts getting addicted to drugs. And she needs her fix. And Kingpin has drugs, or one of his men finds has drugs, and... Karen just is so high on her drugs that she needs more drugs and she's addicted to them so she just gives Matt's identity away. Simple as that is what they could do. And then Kingpin finds out Matt Murdock is Daredevil. So that's basically what could happen. Also, I want to see another big Daredevil villain in Season 3. I think they could do it. Because they do, they do kind of have like two villains a season. Um, because, like, in Daredevil Season 1, they had Wilson and the Hand, Madame Gal. Um, I mean, Wilson Fisk, Kingpin, was, like, the main bad guy, but, like, Gal and the Hand was kind of on the side with them making the drugs. Stuff like that. And, basically, uh, in Season 2, the Punisher was... I mean, he really turned out as an anti-hero in the end, but... Uh, in the first, like, four-ish episodes, he was, like, uh, the main villain. And then it switched with Elektra and the Hand and all that. It was just a big build-up to the Defenders, ultimately. 
which is interesting. And season three, they could do Wilson Fisk be the big bil- villain again, and then maybe in a couple episodes, they could have Bullseye. I would love to see Bullseye on Daredevil. It's like, he's a, re- he's a pretty major villain. In uh, Daredevil comics, so like to see uh, Bullseye, and maybe they could integrate him into Wilson Fisk, and maybe he's working for Wilson Fisk. Could be, could be a possibility. Um, I just think it'd be so, so cool to see Bullseye on screen. And I, I prefer, they kind of did it in the movie, where they just kind of put like the, it's like a scar of a Bullseye on his head. They could do that. And then maybe have him wear, like, a blue coat or something to kind of match the uh, comic counterpart. That's easy. They could just do that. Put a, junk, like a, a light blue, baby blue uh, jacket and then have him walk around in it and be in it a lot. And then when he takes his head off, not head off, hoodie off, you see the bullseye engraved on his forehead. And, I, he, yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty lit. They could, uh, they could easily do that. So those are my predictions. It's going to be Born Again storyline in Season 3. Um, they've set it up, like, perfectly at this point. And how Karen can get hooked up in drugs. She thinks Matt's dead. Simple as that. Because, you know, she'd just be so depressed and sad that she just would try to numb the pain with anything. And, you know. And we've seen a result to alcoholism before. When, uh, after she killed... What's it called? Uh, he killed Fisk's man in uh, season one. I forget his name. The guy with the glasses. You all know what I'm talking about. Um, so we've seen a result to alcoholism. Maybe it doesn't work. And then she results to drugs. And then gives Matt's identity. Wilson finds out. And yeah. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Boo.